Sex. Good morning. Uh, my name is Jad Corey. I'm from Gaithersburg, Maryland. Um, I just want to thank you for sharing your wisdom. And my question is, um, what criteria do you use to sell stock? I kind of understand how you buy it, but I'm not sure how you sell. Yeah. Well, the best thing to do is buy a stock that you don't ever want to sell. I mean, that, and that's what we're trying to do. Uh, and that's true when we buy an entire business. I mean, we bought all of Geico, or we bought all of C's Candy, or the Buffalo News. We're not buying those to resell. I mean, what we're trying to do is buy a business that we will be happy with if we own it the rest of our lives, and we expect to with those. It's the same principle applies to marketable securities. You get extra options with marketable securities. You can, you, you can add to holdings, obviously, easier. We can never own more than 100% of a business, but if we own 2% of a business and we like it, at a given price, we can add and have four or five percent. So that's that's a, that's an advantage. Sometimes, if we if we need money to move to another sector, like we did last year, we will trim from some holdings. But that doesn't mean we're negative on those businesses at all. I mean, we think they're wonderful businesses, or we wouldn't own them. And we would sell uh, a if we needed money for other things. The Geico stock that I bought in 1951, I sold. Uh, in 1952, it was, you know, went on to be worth a hundred or more times before the 1976 problems, a hundred or more times what I paid. But I didn't have the money to do something else. So you sell if you need money for something else. You may sell if you believe that valuations between different kinds of markets are are somewhat out of whack. And uh, you know, we we have done a little trimming last year. Uh, uh, in that matter. That, that, could, that could well be a mistake. I mean, the, the real thing to do with a great business is just hang on for dear life. Uh, Charlie? Yes, but this, the sales that do happen, the ideal way is when you found something you like immensely better. Isn't that obvious? That's the, that's the ideal way to sell. And incidentally, the ideal purchase is to find, is, is to have something that you already like be selling at a price where you feel like buying more of it. I mean, that uh, we probably should have done more of that in the past in, in, in some situations. But that's the beauty of, of marketable securities. You really do, if you're in a wonderful business, you do get a chance periodically maybe to double up in it or something of the sort. Uh, if, if the market, if the stock market were to sell a lot cheaper than it is now, we would probably be buy, buying more of the businesses uh, that we're all, we, that we already own. They would certainly be the first ones that we would think about. They're the, they're the businesses we like the best. Charlie? Yeah. Nothing more.